Good afternoon. Welcome to Fantasmic. <laughs> We're so glad you're here. We daily vlog, so if you like this video, come on back tomorrow. We're about to eat dinner. Here are our tacos. It's an onion refried bean, black bean concoction with salsa, lime juice. I am not like, I like cilantro, but not a ton, so I just put three little sprigs on there. Um, we're having this and some rice. Sarah's driving again. It's the most amount of times you're gonna see Sarah driving in these vlogs. <laughs> We're heading down Orange Avenue. It's already a little congest congested, and there's a lot. There's a few hundred people already at City Hall. Uh, I'm getting to this protest later because I was working, but you know, better late than never. But today's protest has been organized for a longer amount of time and is a little bit more, um, I don't know what's the word, like publicized. Yeah. Because like uh, these protests have been happening every single day, but this has been like, this has been circulating news and the internet since at least Thursday or Friday. I think since Friday or something that this one has been planned. And I, I have seen people posting about coming to this one specifically, not yeah, to like- Yeah, I've even seen people like coming from other areas in Florida. Right, like UCF yeah. area, yeah. Four Corners. Yeah, all over. Yeah, so there, it, well, there is a big presence. Choppers. The choppers are here. And Sarah's gonna get as close as we can get in the car. And I'm gonna hop out and she's gonna go home. I think I'm gonna work. do some work, yeah. Alright, I hopped out of the car right here at Orange and Jefferson because right here it's about to get it's all congested because with the number of people at the protest, I'm sure they blocked off three blocks around City Hall. So I'm just gonna check on down. It's by far the biggest crowd I've seen at City Hall in the past four days. And it's not even five. Just saw on Twitter, there were speakers and such going on right now. Black Lives Matter! Look Black at all of that. Matter. Black Lives Matter! Black Lives Matter! Black Lives Matter! Black Lives Matter! George Floyd! Boom! You can't matter! George Got back to City Hall, and there was another group here. There are a lot of people out today. Oh, wow. it's awesome. Alrighty, so I am home. I actually found a, a way for me to be able to do some contributions tonight um basically a content creator created a youtube video that's an hour long and it features a ton of black artists and all of the adsense that will be made on this video is going to be directly um donated to the black lives matter movement and so i actually have it just going on my tv on the brook car project and then my personal um like Gmail that I don't have YouTube premium and so the ads are playing and whatnot so that's like just a small way if you don't have money to even donate um, you can use YouTube as a tool I am just home I have been responding to some comments just doing some more posting and so I did just you know I want to point out to all of you um, that with sharing our actions and documenting our experiences discussion comes with that territory you guys know us especially if you watch us every day please know that our actions do not come from a place of hatred whatsoever and that they come from a place of hope that we know that the reform that our country needs will take place but it is through some hard work that it will have to happen um and that is truly just coming from you know the most hopeful place in our hearts and not a place of malice all right i'm walking home earlier night it's just before nine um i don't know if i go to a vlog right here i might be able to it depends on the light um a different night because of the longevity of the planning of today's. 
I was just on Twitter and there's a lot of activity going on in downtown Orlando, but I want to bring up a different, I feel like every night I've learned a little bit about protesting a little bit more. And like I said, when I first got out tonight, I started at City Hall. We marched to the police station and then we ended up marching back. And we had a huge group because they like a couple organizations were were organizing this, so it was massive. It's definitely the, I think somebody on the Orange County tweeted out earlier, like earlier in the day, it was over 2,000 down, downtown. I'm sure that was even more by the grand total. Um, but I had been I I saw the guy that's been leading our group, the, like the protests the last three days, and so I was like, cool, I'm gonna stick with him. Because what happened at Orange County, the group was so massive, it was like four blocks long, that it wasn't like one protest group. It was like five protest groups next to each other with their own sets of chants and things they were doing. And then when we marched back downtown, there, it was more difficult for the guy that has been leading us and controlling us in direction and talking to the cops to let them know where we're going and such um, to do that. So I feel like that was one of the reasons why we went he led us back to City Hall. And from there, when we got back to City Hall, we were there for a long time, which was really nice. It was a huge amount of people. The cops did not have masks on, did not have cans out. They had their bikes like making a wall, but like they were there. A lot of the protesters were talking to the cops. Um, it was kind of like, it was, it was, it's just different. Like today, the cops were there to support us and listen to us. And they have been for the most part. Um, we were doing the exact same thing we did at City Hall yesterday. Completely different vibe. And, and, and that's what it's important about that. And then what happened is there was a bunch of people making speeches at City Hall and listening. And there were families there and too. But it was interesting because it was the most amount of people that I've ever seen. But the least amount of intensity from the cops. And that's what it, like, that's what it should be. But it's a give and take from both the protesters and the cops. Um, and then out of the blue... A lot of the, I don't know if it was like another person trying to lead or anything, but a huge section of the of the protest group got up and just left, like mid speech, and started walking away from City Hall. So then the group the group I, I was with the, the the smaller subset that was at City Hall was like, all right, let's go follow them. And it turned into walking through the streets, which was still fine. It was a little bit harder to manage. But then at one point, they almost got to we were going east on Colonial, and the cops would not let us continue down Colonial further east. And at that point, the guy who was leading the past couple nights was like just doing chants, being peaceful, and a huge amount of the, the, the group, because I'm, we're talking hundreds or a thousand, decided to just turn around and leave to go the other direction towards I-4. They ended up going down Orange, but I stayed back with like maybe 50 people, including this guy and his like five or six friends that, he, that had been doing this for the past couple nights. And it... It was just interesting because like, I think as the night progressed, there was multiple groups of protesters and one massive one that kind of went on their own. But I just like, I felt more comfortable. I knew the people I was with knew downtown. These guys have already been talking to the cops for the past three days. We would say, hey, we want to go here. And they would, they would navigate us through the streets safely. And that's, that, that is what the right to protest is all about. To demonstrate within our constraints, I mean, it's, Things change like curfew for certain cities like our friends in Ohio their curfew makes it almost impossible to protest whatsoever and our curfew starts at 10 right now um, but it was a good night it was interesting though like I'm nervous that a lot I feel that because of the amount of people and I could tell a lot of the people it was their they were like amped up and the energy that they were giving off off of like the masses of the protesters that I wouldn't be surprised if tear gas or mace are used tonight, even earlier. There's a lot more police activity. There's four helicopters out and a lot of state troopers. Um, but I'm happy to say that it was, it was great at City Hall. It was great marching until it got so big that the guy who has been leading for the past couple nights couldn't contain it. And they, they kind of broke like, a, I'd say 95% of people broke off into their own little section and the guy who's been leading like him and 50 people and stayed back and I stayed with them and I got to chatting with them. So um, that was cool. But 
because of all that, a little bit more intense night in, in Orlando, I think I'm, I decided, you know, those guys were going home and I got one of their contact information, so I might um, meet up with them tomorrow if they end up organizing again. But it's good because these have been long, tiring nights, but they need to be long, tiring nights. But I've now rambled for five and a half, six minutes, and I am sorry, Sarah, for editing this. And I'm sorry, vlog, if we keep all six minutes of this in. Because that is a Peter Rambles right there. The Daily Message. Worry does not empty tomorrow of its sorrow. It empties today of its strength. Corey Ten Boom. Wow. Word is that Peter got in a lot of talking about... <laughs> um, about the day. About the day and how we've been feeling. Yeah. Um, so it's we just late. wanted to tell you guys that we love you guys. We love you guys. And... Sarah's found some cool resource online about like joining virtual town halls. Yeah, tomorrow um, there's She one. got some info on the Orlando police website's information changed because it wasn't like up to date. Yeah. Yeah, I, I talked about that yesterday, but I didn't know until today they respond and they say, thank you so much for bringing it to our attention and that it had all been fixed. Yeah. So that was cool. It feels good. Yeah, it feels good, but like you could, okay. it just like proof that like not all the action is in the streets right. but there has to be action and there's like a petition that you posted on our facebook group or whatever mm -hmm. that you're able to see like how many people signed the petition off of the link that you posted it is good to be home it's good to be home we're so grateful to be home